Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for a collaborative warfare extra video because, well, it takes quite a while to produce these videos. I know it's been like uh, three weeks now. Uh, that's not going to be the trend. Um, basically, the reason this video has taken so long is because I've put two turns into one, and because we there's five people doing collaborative warfare, they have, there has to be five turns between each of my turns, and I've taken you know two turns to make this video that's coming up, and that's gonna so that means that I have to get, wait for ten turns, and three of those turns were the like starting out turns, which as you saw from my last video, that takes a long time. You got to put down like thirteen turrets and thirteen flags and launch satellites and things. So in future, the rollout of these videos will be much quicker, even if they are like multiple turns. It's just this is, starting off takes a while, and yeah, uh, people have been busy because we have real lives. And one of the people's an actual person, so had jury duty. I don't know, it's all very confusing. So, yeah, but today I'm gonna just take a look at the fighters I will be using. Um, well, not just the fighters, the planes. This is my plane armory video because, well, I thought I'd take a look at it. I do have some things other than planes, obviously, turrets, tanks. Don't look at the aircraft carriers, those totally aren't aircraft carriers. Um, I have some plans for aircraft carriers. So, the first thing I'm going to look at is uh, my VTOL, because that is going to be the staple of the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente's, you know, roster of um, planes, because it's, it's a very important uh, plane, because a lot of our bases are actually helicopter pads, or just don't have runways. And that's quite hard to land on in a, you know, plane if there's no runway. I mean, you can land on grass, but, I mean, it's more... With a normal plane, you can land on grass, but it's a bit bumpy, and it's just easier to land with a VTOL engine. So that's what this is. This is just... Is for taking off vertical... Well, take vertical takeoff and landing. So for ver to ver taking off vertically and landing. Uh, no, what? Landing and taking off vertically. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, so... The VTOL engine is actually angled kind of this way, so it'll actually slow me down on landing, which is really good because that means I don't have to pull back when I'm landing because that often leads to me becoming aerodynamically unstable, which isn't very good when you're trying to fly a plane. Um, especially when you're about like five feet from the ground, it's kind of annoying. So yeah, that's made reasonably perfectly to slow me down and, uh, you know, um, t take off. And it does work very well, it has just about enough thrust. The weapons on this are uh, just a 30mm chain gun, which is quite good because it can gimbal, so I can take like low speed passes and shoot, which is quite good because this is a reasonably slow plane because it's quite small. Uh, well, it's quite heavy and quite kind of thick and only has one engine because of mass. Uh, and the missiles it carries, I usually carry um, Hellfire missiles on it because they're very light. I know they're not the best of missiles, but they do the job. I mean, they're pretty good for ground assault, I find, is if you have like a f like maybe a couple of missiles, it'll take out most turrets or at least, you know, deal some serious damage. And given that this carries four, and it could probably quite easily carry six or maybe even eight, but I probably won't do that because I don't want to go too crazy. Um, and this is a light fighter, so if I'm going to have a light fighter, it's not going to have crazy amounts of weapons. And because this has burned together, I can fly multiple of these at the same time, so I can carry a lot of missiles into battle. Um, but yeah, so it just carries light missiles. I mean, I could throw other missiles on there, but other ground assault missiles are quite heavy, so I just go Hellfires, because this isn't really for, like, dogfighting, because it's really big and dumb. Um, it only carries one box of ammo, because ammo is actually quite heavy, so it is just best to carry not too much. Um, and other than that, it's just quite a big, kind of, quite a big plane for what it is. Um, it only carries one tank of fuel, though, because all of this, well, all of this is empty, because it only needs one tank of fuel, uh, because it's a short-range fighter. Although that really that should not be the rocket fuel thing. Um, yeah, fuel. That should be. Oh no, that'd be too heavy. Um, I only carry that much fuel because um, any more fuel would be too heavy to take off. So it is a very short-range fighter. It really can't go that far, especially if you want to return to where you came from. It is like super short-range. That's it. So its drawback is that it can't carry really heavy re um, weapons, and it's like really short-range. So it's, you know, it's got its drawbacks, but its main thing is it can take off and land from pretty much anywhere, um, as long as there's nothing directly above it. Um, I'm also thinking of replacing those landing struts with wheels, because that means if I do come in with an excess of, like, lateral velocity, it'll land properly, um, as opposed to just braking. But anyway, to take off, you just hit the uh, 2 button, and, um, well, you hit the 2 key, because it's action grouped, 
and then the throttle up to max because that's a better way to design it and push forward so it doesn't you know flip around because it does yaw this way quite seriously and then it starts to yaw this way after I've taken off and then it's reasonably stable and then you've got to pull back um, I don't know it's really weird you can download these from my media fire I think all of the planes I'm showing today are on there or you know within reason um, if I have forgotten any, just tell me, but I'll probably just link my media fire where you can get lots of the vehicles I often use. But anyway, we're up to 40 meters a second so we can shut down the VTOL engine and just keep flying. So yeah, it's not super maneuverable. It's basically just a basic plane that can take off um, vertically. And I wish I had some targets that weren't like 30 kilometers away. Um, but yeah, I can pretty much just uh, select my weapons and just fire them away. So if I had like a target here, I could... Well, I could fire, obviously, as many as many or as few missiles as I want. So, yeah, four would probably do some pretty serious damage, because even though they are Hellfire missiles, four is a pretty serious amount. Um, oh, actually, this isn't on my media fire. There's a rocket-powered version of this that doesn't work anymore, because they changed how thrust works in KSP. Um, but, yeah, I can slow down as well and do a uh, low-speed gunning pass, as I said, and that's just going to be pretty useful when I run out of missiles. Um, and then, yeah, landing is just a matter of shutting down that engine throttling up this engine and getting rid of my gun because it's oh no what's do oh no I pressed the wrong buttons anyway get rid of that gun it's annoying me um, but yeah you can see it's already bleeding off my uh, forward velocity which means I don't have to flare too much I realized SAS isn't on um, and if I start going backwards I can just you know um, intermittently fire up my other engine so well my, my forward engine so it does work quite well um, for landing and you can see it's coming in reasonably fast, actually. I should probably just stop that. Ooh, speed up. Okay. And touchdown. A little hard, but it's all right. And that's all uh, all pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to have to cut up the recording because, okay, uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back in the VAB. Uh, well, the sp um, space plane hangar, that was because... Um, KSP seems to be crashing a lot when, I, uh, when I'm recording with all these mods, because I'm using a lot of mods, so it's not fully KSP's fault, a little bit KSP's fault. Um, but yeah, so I just have to not record when I revert flights, which is really annoying to remember. So yeah, um, the next thing I want to look at is my, where is it? Uh, starts with a H, HSI Mark 1. Oh no, that's a different one. Hmm, which one is it? Oh, it's this one. I have lots of them. It's called High Speed Interceptor Mark 1. Uh, this is pretty much... Well, it's a, it's it's pretty much like a. I, I'm not sure. What, it's not really based on anything, but I guess it would be synonymous with a like F-16 or F-15 or something like that. Just kind of a reasonably small but high-speed fighter, I guess. Um, it's not even that high speed. Basically, it's made for long-range stuff because it's got like two tanks of fuel. It's pretty light. One engine just can fly for freaking ages, and then just um, deliver its missiles, which right now are sidewinders because it's kind of being made for. Uh, Air combat, not that I, I don't think there'll be too much air combat in collaborative warfare, even though there are AI pilots, so I could trick them out with something else. Um, there's a bunch of weapons, I could put them, pretty much any missiles on there, as long as they're not too ridiculous, and probably mount more under the wings if need be. Uh, its guns are just, oops, shit, uh, its guns are just these kind of fixed, uh, what are they, 30mm cannons, I think? Yeah, they're just fixed 30 mils. yeah. Um, which are good for dogfighting, but not really good for shooting stuff on the ground. Although you can if you have a bit of time and space. But yeah, the main thing is it's pretty maneuverable, it has a decent range, and it can just pretty much, well, be deployed from a runway, take out some targets, um, and, if I, and if it can't land, it can probably just fly back, and then something else can go in there and take it, like a VTOL or a tank or something. Um, but yeah, it's just a pretty much general purpose fighter. It's, I quite like it. I've used it in many a mission. I think these are all downloadable. And my media fire. I will add the ones that uh, aren't. Um, for uh, reference, if anyone's asking about ship submissions, uh, no, we will not be taking ship submissions because uh, from like uh, people watching because it just takes some of the challenge out of it because kind of it's a contest about who's the best at ship building and flying. And if we've got a bunch more, way more talented people than ourselves like, um, giving us stuff, it's not super fair. But yeah, this is pretty maneuverable. It can it can do some. Pretty decent maneuvers, and if you actually become aerodynamically unstable somehow, I, uh, it stays stable pretty easily. But if you do for some reason, like turn into a flat spin, it's actually pretty easy to pull out of it. So it is just pretty good for, well, pretty good for maneuvering, which is good when you're you know fighting bad guys. This doesn't have any flares on it. I think I've forgotten to add flares to a lot of my fighters. I'll just put them on for uh, future turns, and then yeah, weapons are just a matter of 
firing off my weapons. Um, those could probably take out a plane. They can take out ground targets, sidewinders actually. They're just not made for it, so it's not very smart to use them for that. And then these 30mm uh, cannons are just, just pretty good. I mean, I could hit a ground target if I was really, really felt like it. And then I uh, can just land. It can land on... Oh, shit! <laughs> it can land on reasonably rough terrain, I imagine. Um, but if it's like a hill, it's way easier to do that in a VTOL. Um, especially if there's like limited space. Um, but yeah, I could land on grass. Although this is pretty much flat grass. So <laughs> it's probably smoother than the first runway you get in career mode. And then just, you know, break and all that. Um, slam on the brake. Oh! <laughs> accidentally fired my guns. Killed the air marshal. Uh, but yeah. Um, slam on the brakes. And uh, get back to the VAB to, well, the space plane hangar to look at my next thing. Okay, so we're back in the space plane hangar again. Again, had to pause the recording because of glitchiness. Um, and the next thing is pretty much my favorite plane. It's called the H.I. Storm. Because it's a H.I. Storm. It's an armored fighter. Um, this, well, it, yeah, it can be a fighter or a ground assault vehicle. It's basically my armored mini plane. So it has an armored belly to withstand various gunfires. I haven't, I've tried not to go too crazy with this. Um, because it is easy just to like cover it with metal and then put more engines on it, but that seems too crazy. But I did want a belly armored fighter because if I'm taking gunfire from below, it makes sense. The wings aren't armored because that would just, well, it would just be too much weight. There is a limit, um, but it's armored most of the belly. The engines aren't, although I might add some engine armor uh, if it doesn't throw the mass off too much. But yeah, this can withstand quite a lot of 50 caliber fire. We are using tweak scale for a lot of these parts. Um, I'm not sure all the mods you'll need for these for these planes. I think you need quite a lot of them. I mean, probably at least Tweak Scale, obviously BD Armory, Burn Together. It's probably only them, but there might be more, so, you know, don't hold me to that. Um, but yeah, the uh, Belly Armor, well, these smaller panels can't take as much gunfire, but uh, the Belly Armor can pretty much stop a lot of 50 caliber fire, probably a bit of 20 mil. Uh, I'm not sure. If, I think some people have quite a lot of 20 mil cannons, though. And then maybe if... Then like a little bit of 30 mil can, uh, cannon fire, but not that much. It's also pretty capable of carrying a plethora of missiles. Right now it's set up for a ground assault, so it has a Maverick missile, which is a laser-guided ground assault missile. Very heavy, um, does a lot of damage, very useful, and then Hellfires. But obviously I could put other things on it, because, well, just obviously, um, that's... Well, obviously I have the option to me, but yeah, I could put AMRAMs on it. You can even, it's actually pretty good as a light bomber if you just put some, like, some snake eye bombs on there. It can drop them pretty effectively because, you know, it can withstand belly fire. And it has its own chain gun like the VTOL Interceptor, which is just quite useful, again, for a ground assault. But this is definitely a ground assault plane. And all the workings are hidden inside a cargo bay, which is quite nice. And it does carry a decent amount of fuel. It carries... Probably the most feel of all my things, but it's quite, but it's really heavy, so it's not that long range. But it is very, very fast. Um, the wings you can see are quite big, but they're they're pretty. I, I like this fighter. It is very fast. It's pretty maneuverable. It's just made to be really resilient, so it is quite good to be really fast. Um, it's pretty much the uh, I don't know the kind of special unit, I guess, in my uh, in my sort of army of crazy, crazy vehicles and stuff. Um, so yeah, like if there was a fleet of these, your base is fucked. All your bases are mine. All your bases belong to us. Um, so yeah, it takes off pretty well and can get up some serious speed. We'll try and show you that now. I haven't tried it that much in the new aerodynamics, actually. This is a pretty old plane. Um, but yeah, I do like the wing setup. I tried to go for interesting wing setups, and this one is... Actually, it's pretty effective. And this one, actually, I remembered to put flares on, which can be popped like that. So yeah, it is just made to be resistant as balls, and then obviously... They can get up pretty close to the sound barrier, fully armed. I imagine it would punch right past it um, when it's dropped all its weapons, which I can do like this. Just fire off four Hellfire missiles. That'll deal some damage. And if there's anything heavy like um, Twitchy's uh, Spartans, oh, if you haven't seen Twitchy's video on his first move, he's built like um, a Spartan turret on top of uh, the VAB, which literally is... Like a Leonidas type guy in the middle with a giant heat shield and a massive gun. And then around him a bunch of Spartans or... I think, yeah, it's Spartans in 300, right? Uh, with smaller heat shields and it's really awesome. I can't wait to destroy that and take his base. Uh, it, it, yeah, to, I'd, I'd definitely advise at least watching that one. And then drop the heavier missiles, which you do have to actually be pretty much pointing at your target for them to work. Um, because uh, they're laser guided. Um, I'm getting some lag. I don't know what that is. Um... 
Oh, not anymore, but still. Yeah, and it's reasonably maneuverable. Uh, not obviously massively, because it's got a lot of belly armor. Uh, but yeah, I do very much like this plane. I think it'll be incredibly useful and may even win me the war. I think this could, will be probably that important that it might even actually just straight up win me the war. So yeah, um, let's go back to the VAB and look at pretty much the last thing I'm going to show you, uh, which is, I think, uh, again, pretty important. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I hope I hit the key hard enough because I didn't do a count in, so this may be out of sync. Uh, we have the HAPS, the heavy assault planes, the Mark II and the Mark III. The Mark II was um, designed before the new wings, and I know this works, um, and the Mark III I think works, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I would like to improve this, maybe put more armor on it. You will see that it does have uh, tail armor. This cap is actually to stop uh, missiles. Because most missiles, if you're being chased by something or if you're running away, basically if a missile comes up behind you, it's probably going to go for this tail bit. And if it hits this tail bit, it will explode and not destroy the plane. Probably. Heavier missiles like the... Um, uh, let's take a look at some of the ones. I think Amrams might actually destroy it. Lighter missiles probably won't, like Sidewinders, which I think quite a few people are using. But I know the Amrams have a pretty good ch uh, chance of destroying it. And where are the ones I'm thinking of? Um, I know there's a really big missile I've been using. Oh yeah, the Intercept missile. Uh, this will probably tear this plane apart. It's a very big missile. And uh, it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, um, this is obviously my bomber. It does have a tail gun as well for taking out uh, pursuing fighters or missiles. So this is pretty good for fighting against missiles as well. It has six engines, which does seem like overkill, but it does give it a lot of speed. It's very fast. And it can lose it can lose two engines and still uh, keep going. And if it, it can probably run on two engines if it's dropped all its bombs and if it has a good pilot, which it does. Um, and inside the cargo bay, you can see we have a few bombs. We have... Um, just some Mark 82s. I haven't armed it super heavily, actually, because uh, it has a bit of trouble taking off, so I would like to improve that. But obviously, I could fit anything in here. Um, I could put a lot more bombs. I could put cluster bombs, snake eye bombs, and maybe even something like a drop tank, which I'd uh, very much like to see. Um, and it also has a huge amount of 20mm ammo, just a ridiculous amount, because this also can point at the ground and just shoot things as I'm leaving, basically. And this does work quite well. Um, and also I have the Mark III, which uses the new wings, so it does look a little less crazy, and it has much smaller wings, which, <clears throat> which means it'll be less likely to be destroyed. Although actually, it's easier to destroy um, this wing than lots of little wings. But yeah, this is pretty much the same, it's just got newer wheels as well, actually. I have updated the wheels on this, because the old one was built a long time ago. This is probably what I'm going to use. Um, and I might even put some armor on it. And this just had the same thing, basically. It's pretty much the same. It's just got new wings, new wheels, new everything. And this does work quite well. I've forgotten exactly how well. I haven't flown in a while. But let's let's take a look. Um, this is pretty much the last plane I'm going to show you. I have some more ideas, but I don't want to have just like a crazy amount of planes. Um, I will be incremental, incrementally upgrading these. So basically what I want to have is a VTOL, um, a high-speed intercept fighter, uh, a bomber, and my like special forces fighter type thing. Which will probably be upgraded, and if I come up with a new one, I'll probably ditch the old one. So yeah, um, you'll notice the wheels are pretty far forward, but so's the mass. Until I drop the bombs, actually. I haven't actually checked that. These are still kind of in development. I've been working on this one mostly recently. The other fighters have been around for a while, but this one is quite new. Um, but yeah, as we take off... Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, it does take off quite well, and is reasonably fast. And I've forgotten... The exact keys. Okay, that's change weapon. What? I'm going to open the cargo bay manually, just in case. Because you can just have a thing full of... Um, well, you could quite easily have a cargo bay full of loose bombs. And then, yeah, I could just um, drop all my bombs. And you can see I could either... I'm probably going to go for carpet, carpet bombing tactics. Um, because we don't have smart bombs. Although we do have air brake bombs. Uh, so that could be quite good. And then, obviously, I can just spray the ground as I'm leaving. So yeah, that could be quite useful. I'm not sure if I am allowed to use guard mode if I'm flying the plane. I imagine if I'm flying in a fleet of planes, the other planes would be allowed to use guard mode, but I don't think I'm allowed to just use it if I'm flying the plane. But yeah, that is basically my fleet. I should probably close up this cargo bay. Um, but it is quite hard to armor a cargo bay, so I'm not sure what use that would be. This is quite good against missiles, though I have done a video with the same sort of plane, but not quite. Um, but yeah, it is pretty much... That's pretty much my fleet as it stands. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing my next video. It should be coming out uh, pretty much this week. Uh, although I guess that's technically next week. 
But yeah, it'll be coming out in, hopefully in the next few days, uh, just as soon as possible, so stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been uh, KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. <laughs>